so I'll just eject the floppy and the CD, make sure that they don't or aren't used to boot and just, just wait for the memory to be cleared again while this uh, reboots and hopefully we'll have a working system. Okay, so here it comes. And yeah, we've got Grub loaded. And you can see I can select the options. So if I go in there, you'll see there's the standard kernel plus there's a recovery mode. So I'm just going to let it boot the first one. Yeah, it looks like the Nouveau drivers worked. I've changed the fonts to make them bigger so they're easier to record um, or rather see and uh, for the recording, easier to view. And that's all booting successfully. There's no errors so far. So first time it's run the SSH, it generated some keys, and that's it. So if we now log in uh, with the password I set, yep, we've got a prompt. So you name my so you can see booted Linux, the host name AMD 2400 by two, the kernel version number. Uh, S SMP kernel, so that's good. Preemptive. See the time it was built and the date. I six eight six. Architecture. It's an Athlon MP twenty four hundred authentic AMD. So that's okay. We can do cat proc CPU info. And yeah, it's gone off the page that it has. So let's do it through less yeah you can see all the details there that's fine it's got one sibling so it shows that we've got the two CPUs up in fact there you can see that's processor 0 this is processor 1 bugger MIPS 4000 that's fine um, you can see the bugs we've got here and let's do an LS CPU Oh yes, that's Beck store bypass. It is there still. I didn't notice that earlier on. So that's just got one vulnerability on the processor. Um, let's check the uh, network. Yeah, that looks like that's up. It's got an IP address there. And config. Yeah, that's confirmed there. It looks like it's sent and receive, oh, receive some packets. So let's see if we can ping the uh, gateway. Yep, that's responding, so that's looking okay. So there's um, nothing else really to do with this at the moment. It all boots. Um, that's it, you can just um, start installing packages. Um, the next video, what I'll do is be actually finishing off the update because if you remember, if I recall the update command. Yep, that one there. Um, I made a change to the use flag, the global use flag, and removed IP v6. So there's still packages outstanding to be updated with that update. Um, and another thing I want to do is, at the moment, this has been 
um, virtually all the packages, apart from the ones I've either installed or have been updated, have been compiled with the generic i686 um, from the stage 3 build. Now because this is a slow machine it would probably benefit me quite a lot to recompile everything with the current uh, CPU flags I've got. Um, so I'll be doing that in the next video. I'll just let this uh, finish and yes you can see there's some rebuilds there but if I'm going to rebuild everything this point is uh, rebuilding these without the IPv6 and then going ahead and rebuilding everything again. So I'll leave it like that for that and then on the next video I'll just finishing, finish off the uh, processor flag enhancements and then I'll be doing a, a full rebuild. So thank you very much for watching this video and if you liked it please uh, click on the thumb up um, and if you've not already done so subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. Thanks very much, goodbye.